Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So we are planning a trip to Devil's Peak. And uh, maybe it's not as dangerous as it sounds. Here we go. Wait, no, maybe it has less bugs than the outside. Whoa, nice work! Nice work. The caves back east are safest. You can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. Well, I don't know. So this is the shortcut, apparently. But we can also take the road. Now oh, we can take the shortcut. Then we can uh, take the road back. Oh. And Cleo is better than nature. But seemingly all, all these companies are selling basically everything. Or like anti Cleo is selling only drugs. I bought my Look armors up. from an anti Cleo. We gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Vending machine. <laughs> Taking the meat doesn't really help. Oh, just some money. Uh, so, how do we go up there? I guess we're gonna look around. I really want to use four for that, just to not switch armor. Uh, let's take that. Currently, it's it's easily worth uh, just selling the weapons for money than buying the parts. Slightly on fire. Um, no big deal. I think a bandage doesn't fix. Okay. Maybe I don't want to be super lazy. Best armor. Damn, you got some nimble fingers, Captain. I just used that as the main armor. Assault rifle ultra. It's the one I'm using. Well, I'm good at uh, using uh, long guns. Get ready. Oh shit! Plus. This one actually hits the enemies. I like the light machine gun. Wait, was that like tech skill armor? I think I'm I'm dumb. I should have kept that. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for one of those, to, so I modify it with tech skills plus five again, and then we're gonna have a very sweet armor. Uh, I guess I'll be on the lookout for another one, or maybe uh, all of these guys have uh, that armor, but unlikely. Like maybe that's just a mechanic. Tunnel here. Oh, 
That hit pretty hard. Maybe because I'm not using my armor. Oh my god, how about he's almost dead? I guess he's gonna come back. these drug addiction yeah I don't know let's reject that <laughs> heading back seems like a bad idea but am I doing drugs yeah I mean I'm doing drugs quite a bit all these have pretty generic downsides maybe it would be cool if like I don't know would be like something something interesting downside not just like wow three stats lowered by one <clears throat> come girls oh shit more of these like I'm fighting demons. All these fireballs. What? Who are you? And how the hell he's not dead with these fireball spitting monsters around? That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. And better be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. <laughs> You're the biggest red shirt I've seen in my life. What are you doing here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Sure. I guess it would be nice. Let uh, the C3, whatever that is. Those guys owe me one. Unless they don't like this guy. <laughs> and they just wanted him to die. The chance of that is... Is significant. No! I need to be... I need to watch out. What the fuck? And we're alive. What the hell, bats? Bandit were hiding here. Find it hard to believe. Why are all these bandits immune to the mantises? Hiding next to their super cave. Super secret cave. Yeah. 
lost like someone lost a hand. Green Ledger 2. Not bad. Alright. Very Green Ledger 3. the exit yeah here okay so this was the easy path I generally would say that in close places against melee opponents are definitely not the easy path because in, in open spaces you can just whoa really that's it I seriously doubt that this is and the easy path are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. This station ain't too far now. I can just go there straight. Uh, maybe attack that. I'm not convinced about shooting flies. Is that? It's, it's very odd. What I would like to know, what are these mantis the eating? There's nothing here other than mushrooms. They can't be eating each other. And these are huge! That means big, means it's eating something... Well, obviously, food requirements are, are, are more significant. Stun the man queen. I am a star. I usually don't even bother to use. Oh, mark helmet, mark free helmets. Ah, uh, that's garbage. No. Uh, one thing that I would like to see as a mod that they just. Uh, Spruce up the loot a little bit. A lot of loot is very uh, vanilla. It's it's fine. I, I kind of liked it at, at first. But now it just feels like we never find anything. Nothing to really... It doesn't really have to be like a Diablo 2 or like a, a Pillars of Eternity kind of deal. But you need to check everything and the stats of everything. Because these are guns, like, ultimately. And this is not necessarily what they have to focus on. This is not super important, I, I suppose. But it just makes looting. Like, I don't really have much to buy. Don't really have much uh, to find. Uh, we can just uh, clean these out when we are heading uh, back. So... Whoa. Where am I going? Okay, we're going this way. This is... Yeah, the cave was certainly harder. Oh no. How the... I always wanted to poke through a high gain wireless. Hey, well, what's up? We got one on Taylor 2, you know. Up in Byzantium. Guys. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. Oh, C3. You and Marauder? Because me and my sunshine... That's my gun, if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. What's a marauder? <gasps> what marauders? No, what marauders? Is that a trick question? Never mind. Marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. <laughs> That's good, I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Shouldn't you be doing something about that? It's your job to protect the station. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. And that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. And you're not concerned that it's, uh... Run over by marauders? What are you waiting for? Help me 
I don't know. I'm off. All right. Maybe if they don't die, uh, they're going to be grateful. Why would I go there? If I can just... Oh, we might just try it anyway. Oh no! Reload the regular gun. No! I almost died! What? I got spit on. Very rude. Maybe <laughs> I should uh, actually use an armor. Not a helmet. That's for losers. We're not using that. Oh, this is fine. It seems like uh, Obsidian may have uh, had a harder time. Or we're, we're, we're careful about the balancing about this game because of this game because it seems like they kind of made it somewhat easy. Uh, probably for two reasons, but I I could be wrong because this is not really the case for Fallout New Vegas, but it is a little bit somewhat the case for Fallout New Vegas as well. And it, I, I tend to see this in games that uh, involved uh, FPS, kind of FPS elements and uh, role-playing elements, is that... Uh, oh shit. <sighs> is that the game is kind of made like a little easy, so it's not really balanced for players who can shoot pretty okay and can also play role-playing games uh, very well. But it's kind of balanced in a way that, you know, like, even clueless RPG players, plus clueless, uh, but, but they're difficulty settings, so I don't really understand that. My point is they kind of could have made it easier. I mean, I'm harder. What am I saying? It feels like that uh, the difficulty scale is uh, very forgiving. The game started out hard, but uh, now it can be still hard, but I I'm kind of ready to deal with difficulty. But uh, Bethesda made it, well not Bethesda, Obsidian made it uh, fairly forgiving so you don't have to like be uh, like a master fighter also this also uh enables solo that is that is something that uh some players are interested in and it seems like playing in a team is just uh better Not surprisingly. but they made the game in a way I i'm pretty sure in a solo setting, I would be struggling quite a bit. Because I wouldn't have any companion bonuses. Apparently there's like a broken uh, uh, perk as well. It gives you bonus XP for companion kills. I don't have that. And uh, I very much suspect that that's a very strong one. But that's not why I didn't pick it. I just like, eh. XP, who cares. If it's if, if the perks are well balanced, then uh, they really shouldn't have much of an impact. Might be like one or two levels 
that's usually how it goes. And I just wanted to focus on early on, uh, not losing the game. Oh crap. What the hell is going on here? They are all named. Lance, Eddie, Donald Anderson. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer! Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. Right. Why are you guys guarding the station? We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Wow. Just kill everybody. What kind of odd... Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. I can't even if you help me wipe out the Marauders at the broadcast station. I don't need that. Okay, I'm just gonna see what I can loot from you. Pick up Thunder. This is just trash. Level 15. Am I supposed to be here at level 15? Like, ultimately I could have been here at level 15, I believe. Or even earlier than that. Uh, but I wasn't. Unlock with key. Okay. Oh, tech skills! That's, what, that's the one I want. Let's pick it up. That's an ultra. So I would be not able to uh, loot these crates if I killed the guy. Only some of it. Or maybe I could have uh, gained his. Wait a second. What the hell? Ah, uh, his key card. Let's break down. Armor. So tech skills 5. If I can improve that, modify this armor, put in tech skills skill kit, then it would be the tech skills armor. Tech skills 5 plus tech skills 5. So if I put that on. Then I have an armor. That increases my tech skills. By 15 I believe. Because I, I get a, a bonus. Uh, well. I double the base bonus of the armor. Tech skills 15, pushing science to 65, engineering to 88. We can also push it a little farther with drugs. Maybe I'll push up uh, science to 60, then we would have 75. Okay. But this is a good armor for sure. Then we can sell the tech skills 5 lab outfit uh, because we're not using that. Wow. 
maybe what I should go for if I, when I finally level up, is more carry weight. I was kind of hoping to go for penetrating shots, but you know what? All we need is uh, carry more shit. <laughs> 330 carry weight. I kind of want that. Also, if I could have more strength, <laughs> that's what I would, should go for. Max strength. I, I, I can't change my attributes, of course. But, uh, whatever. Rather tug. Well, no, I'm going the wrong way. Am I? Ah, oh, this is the right way. Just looks a little odd on the map. Especially these fast travel points. Kind of blocking the, the map a little bit. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. Wait a second. I have so many guns. I can replace this Assault Rifle Ultra for Assault Rifle Ultra. I wonder how they punch a signal through the gas giant's magnetic field. Can't be easy. Leave me! Pass, robot! Fuck you! Devil's Peak Station. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he's too easy. So, her big, uh, contribution to this mission was telling me how to get here. I could have just followed the fucking road. And she suggested that we go into the cave, where we actually ran into tougher op uh, opponents and, uh, we almost died. Good job. <laughs> you suck at your job. Ayuka. And I... I I didn't need to uh didn't need any help in in that regard because I could have just stayed on the road as I said when we're dealing with uh melee opponents staying on in the open is always the best so you may not realize this being as you're an outsider but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Oh, this could be good sneaking Which around do leave already <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Here's the elevator. Oh shit! Sell things to the vending machines. That's right. Let's do that. Heck, heck, port is certainly awesome. Uh, I guess I can sell one of these. No. It's level 19. Eh. Okay. Thunder is garbage. Sure. I'm gonna keep one. Sell the rest. Keep these. Armor. We don't need the extra stealth. I don't know. We need the stealth skill. We don't need the tech skill one. Because we got a better one. Uh, that's, that's garbage. That's garbage too. Okay. It's garbage. Garbage. And it's really hard to go through this. Wait. Oh, that's garbage. Maybe sell the pasta. Oh yeah, sell the junk. And I guess that but should be I enough. Gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we I just have less forward. and less carry weight. Look for another way up. Oh, 
We're getting observed. These vending machines, probably the reason you can't, well, well, if you could break into them, then they would be kind of pointless. Also, they serve as a purpose to enable a kill everything playthroughs, which uh, are, a, are a great option, I guess, but it's usually not why I play these games. It would be my, it would be very down on the line of the choices that I would make. But, it's cool. But the whole point is that you have the access- you have access to so many uh, different playthroughs, if you like. And the game is kinda long. Okay, so, that's it. Just- just one person wanted to talk to me. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see uh, the information broker about. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Why me? You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. <laughs> well, we already know what's in it for me. How many Marauders broke into the station? I'll see what I can do. It doesn't matter how many they are. More other guys. Sentry Saber. Lead outside. Yep. As I stated in my prior four messages, there is simply no cause for alarm. I swear to you, Hiram, the situation is under control. What you call a near emergency, I would consider a non event. Yes, a high energy transmission was used for too lengthy period of time. And yes, the generators cannot safely support that activity, and yet, yes, yes, they could have been damaged under load, but the point remains, nothing happened. 
We caught the issue in time. The engineers involved were reprimanded. I swear on my mama's grave, it will not happen again. Now please, cease contacting me for daily updates on the status of the generators. What in the black hole were you thinking, Val? At some point, space efficiency becomes the inverse to time efficiency, and one negates the other. What I mean is, how am I to do my morning business when the toilets are directly facing the open showers? You might like watching fellow scrub their jigglies while you take a steaming dump, but I don't. <laughs> oh man! I'm probably the other way around, not too pleasant either. On the contrary, Theo, not only is it a spatially efficient design, but also encourages simultaneous users to hurry their business. <laughs> don't like, don't look, or speed up and move on. After all, the faster you're back to station, the happier we all will be. Warmest well, regards, Val. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She's right. Like, would you, how long would you go on a toilet like that? Like, imagine that. Imagine that you're going to the toilet and it was like, you know, you, you were facing some other guy. And like, nah, I don't know. Unless, unless you're like really sociable. It's gotta be some next level. Oh, uh, what? What kind of mining gear? I already got one of these. Same thing. Actually, this is just worse. Because there's no way to enhance the stealth skills uh, with a mod. What? Wait, what? What's up with my armor? Why do I have armor on? <laughs> uh, tech skills. It's a tech skill, right? Stealth. Oh, it's a stealth skill. I'm dumb. Uh, I should know this by now. Alright, let's go. Atmospheric controls. Deploy fire suppressant systems in the main hall. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea. No. Automatic. Mechanical controls. I don't need to kill them with cheese. We can just shoot them. Especially if the cheese also ends up hurting me. But this is mainly for those who like to sneak around. Because it seems like, or, 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 although I, I barely see it. It seems like that the game is also set up in a way to encourage, or not encourage, but enable uh, stealth gameplay that I'm not pursuing. That's the last of them, I think. Hey there, Huram. Wouldn't these robots be able to take down five marauders? The game could also use more mods. Or I don't know if you're gonna find more, 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 more kind of mods. Hell of a job. It's kind of trash. Trash. Okay, so an exit. Seems like that's it. 
nothing else in his chamber. Uh, so maybe... Let's talk. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. How hefty? But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh... By the way, Hiram, uh, Blight, or whatever your name is, I'll tell you that you pay me 2500 which, according to you, is twice the going rate of whatever you think I'm doing, but I could be selling casseroles for 3000 credits, bits. What do you think about that? Why would I bother with all this shit? You know, we need to just stop adventuring and just... Get into the casserole business. 3,000 bits. For casseroles. I told you, I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How, how did he hook you up with me? How, 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 how you took... <laughs> oh. How did he hook up with you? <laughs> oh, man. Um, sorry about that. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I braved the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. Okay. I really ought to give you a raise. Um... Fine. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Sounds very simple. Except it needs three keys before it will activate, and I have to go find them, right? Eternal, no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Seems suspicious. We're talking about pulling a lever for a few minutes now. That apparently is very, just like, no-brainer. Alright, got it. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. So, we gotta head it here. So, there's a chance that this guy, for some reason, is just, uh... Oh, yeah! Fox Windows. Us beauty and very similar to dudes to your, uh, home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently he's super popular.
Why do I have a feeling that we're gonna get betrayed here? It's just too easy. Am I gonna get struck by lightning? <laughs> What's gonna happen here? Something's gonna happen. It's not that easy. Or maybe I need to witness something. It is just way too odd. Let's do. Let's do it. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Happily, I won't bother you again. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. How the hell? <laughs> As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. <laughs> Captain! Big flaming thingy! Whoa! No way! Wait. Black holes! Did you see that? What happens? Who ship was that? That wasn't mine. Looked like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram? Hiram, are you there? What the hell is going on? And Graham... is here too. Will someone explain what's going on? What the hell is this channel? It's a reunion. A group hug. They really should have killed you all. Not without a physical contact waiver. Okay. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Surely we can talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. <laughs> Which means, get off my bored damn channel! I am more than finished with you lot. Okay. Wow. Can I use it again? Nope. Not really. So, where did it crash? Do we know? Retrieve the gunship targeting module. It crashed there. Okay. So it's it's a little bit farther away. Uh, finding the grave with Nioka seems like the next choice. Get transport down. Uh, seems like uh, going to the caverns might be the the. Easiest way. Wow. So, seems like we may have another choice again uh, between uh, MSI and the Iconoclasts. Uh, I'm just gonna help uh, Nioka. Who's, you know, I kinda like Nioka. It's fine. She's, uh, I like her. She's a, she's a fine companion. So, I 
An empty queen, come on. You gotta stun him. Everyone all right? Oh, actually, I'm a little thirsty now. And uh, what's food? That's food. <laughs> it would be nice to see what is what in the inventory. So do we wanna go there? Maybe. Scrap mechanical. Let's take it out. Opening fire! The fuck? Find some big bandit ambush. Not this like three guys that you can deal with, then three guys that you can deal with, four guys that you can deal with. I know it's like the game design and stuff. It's fine. It just, it just seemed like uh, bandits are standing like I don't know like. 200 meters from each other on the road <laughs> all hoping to attack you and steal your shit what is this cascadia turnpike okay fine so we can check out maybe this potential area that maybe has a the door uh, i got a little dark here. Am I going the right way? We just need to turn to the left. Can I even get in here? Or are there thugs murdered? We ain't ready for this. We need the We need the pheromones. So it seems like she is commenting on a quest that I, I know nothing about. I didn't pick it up yet. Okay. Nayuko. Oh shit. Let's dump the Manta Queen. We should get paid for this. Oh, level 22. Hmm. Good question about level 22. Is that, what are we gonna do? Am I just going to go for carry weight or make the fights easier? I think we might just go for carry weight here. 330 carry weight. And I'm not sure what to put points into. Persuasion, lie, intimidate. We might just go for long guns like I, I planned. I'm just gonna make my attacks better. Uh, 
And this is probably just the first step in Naoka's quest. Rats. At least how she it's described clear the it. Sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. I'm trying to use the ability. So we were too far away. Colossus. Oh. Lost all the limbs. Everyone all right? Sure. Yeah, we're not taking the raptor on meat. Really? Bury him here. Ah, uh, okay. Buried near the surface of Hay's grave is a small lockbox. It hinges uh, rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Sharon. What? Oh. Is that the guy? From Fallbrooks? I can't deal damage that far. <laughs> That's it! Hammer! I'm just gonna reload. What? <laughs> they scream like they're getting murdered, but they're not. What? Give Nioka the medallion? Yeah, sure. Uh, I thought that, that was obvious. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find <laughs> Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Okay. Why do we need their help? We don't! We literally killed <laughs> a Manta Queen right before this chat, five seconds ago. The Queen ain't just gonna come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. Oh, so killing is not the hard part. And they took a UDL contract? I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. They're probably dead. Sounds like they abandoned you. I probably shouldn't say that. She's gonna get mad. You didn't try to find them? I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I... I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Boost makes for better friends anyway. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront, confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but... We've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Well... <laughs> Go back? This... Wow. Oh, we have to go to Hiram. Oh man. This, it, this would have been pretty nice to do before we went to Hiram. Let's go to the station and talk to Hiram, I guess. Why not? Hey, uh, Hiram. I am... I'm gonna figure out how to go up to him. Hey, Hiram. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? Oh, come and on. I don't see an insta coffee in your hand. Michael needs a favor. Oh, great. 
I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you call this friends? Mm -hmm. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. She's your friend, and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Watsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Alright, so about that ship? Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? It was pretty wild, wasn't it? I was sharing the experience of seeing it crash like that. Is this bonding? <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure I like it. Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. <laughs> this guy should be our companion. How did you get the scar on your chin? You can... you can barely see it. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. Moral of the story is, never run with scissors. Where do you think the ship came from? The board has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you, just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Ugh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. <laughs> Sell me. Not even tell me. Uh, what do you think I should give? What do you think I should give the module to? I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me <laughs> for advice. Sanjar's about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. Graham's as likely to bomb Monarch as he is to protect it, down to the last dying man, woman, and sister pig. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. That was helpful. Thanks for the insight. I'm quite useful from time to time, aren't I? You're welcome. Never mind. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else. Yeah, Give my regards to Phineas. Region. Sure, no. Search the outpost. There. Search the outpost. Edgewater. Okay, so... Nyoka doesn't really have uh, anything to do here retrieve gunships targeting module enter the secret lab in Cascadia so obviously we're going there but before we go anywhere we need to head out and so far it seems like I am 90% on the side of Sanjar and uh, I can 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 only get on board with the iconoclasts if I overthrow their leadership. And um, it's an interesting point that uh, he mentioned that Sanjar wouldn't have the guts to defend the city, which is odd. I don't know. Maybe that's true. I don't. I don't think so. I think. Ultimately, when it came down to it, he would do that, but we'll see. Still, I would rather give it to Sanjar because Graham would just destroy the city. Graham doesn't need an enemy to ruin everything. 
Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.